In this video, we're going to learn how to output to the standard Airstream using Python. So by default, when using the print function to output a string in Python, that string is going to be output to what's called the standard output stream. So for example, if we have here print standard output, this text is going to be output to the standard output stream. And by default, the standard output stream is going to be the terminal here. So if we save this program and run it, we'll get here standard output on the terminal. We can redirect standard output. So we could have here, let's say Python 3 d.py and we'll have greater than s.txt. This is going to redirect the standard output stream to the file s.txt. So now there's no output on the terminal. And if we read the file s.txt, we'll see standard output is now there. We can also output to something called the standard error stream. And the standard error stream is intended for error messages or log messages. One way to output to the standard error stream is to import the sys module with import sys. And then when we call print, we'll again supply a string as the first argument. This time we'll have the string standard error. And then as the second argument, we'll have here file is equal to sys.stderr. And this will now output the string standard error to the standard error stream. So if we save this and run our program, we'll now get standard output and standard error. So like standard output, by default, standard error is going to be the terminal. We can also redirect standard error. So here, if we have Python 3 d.py and then 2 greater than o.txt, and then we check with the file o.txt, we'll see that file now contains the string standard error and standard output still was output to the terminal here. So we only redirected the standard error stream to the file o.txt and only our output to that stream now appears in this file. We could also use the write method to output to standard error. So we could have here sys.stderr.write and we could have something like error message as a string argument to the method. This method is going to output the text error message to the standard error stream. One difference though between write and print is that write is not going to automatically put a new line character at the end of the string when outputting it to the standard error stream. So if we save this and run our program again and we check out the file o.txt, notice this, we get error message and then the terminal begins right here. There's no new line after error message. We could add that in ourselves. So we could have here backslash n to put our own new line into the string. And if we save the program and run it again and check out the file o.txt again, we'll see it now looks like this with the new line character at the end of the string. So now the terminal does start on the next line. We can also use the logging module to write to the standard error stream. So we could import the logging module. And then down here, we could have logging dot warning and we'll pass the function, the text warning message. And if we save the program and try it out and check with the file o.txt, we'll see that warning message has been output to standard error as well. The logging module is something I'll cover in more detail in another video. So this is how we can output to standard error using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.